What is good gamers, how are you doing? Here with some rare Lazarus gameplay. Showcasing off Yondu's headpiece, whistle to target enemies. This is an incredibly cool item. I saw it on the workshop very briefly. First of all, when he's a pill, no big deal, just infested. And it says they watched a video of mine where I mentioned Yondu's headpiece. If you don't know who Yondu is, he's in the movie Guardians of the Galaxy and he's a really cool guy. He's blue, he's got like this weird headpiece and he whistles and he, he, it's like really cool. So you shoot in a direction and while shooting you whistle by pressing your active item. And and the arrow just go crazy, destroying anything in its path in that general direction. It has full on homing. Mysterious liquid is great too. Uh, tinted rock right here. Ah, uh, it's just a golden chest, no biggie. Here we go, we can use it again, you can see that. I can constantly retarget or just constantly whistle all the time if I wanted to. <laughs> Become the singer of my dreams right now, here we go. And so we're just gonna go along with the Yondu's headpiece and try and get it as buffed up as possible because it does actually scale off of your stats. So the more damage you have, the more damage the headpiece will do, or I guess the uh, arrow at that point. The higher the tier rate, the more it'll tick, and the uh, higher the shot speed, the faster it'll fly. So it really does scale off your stats. So let's try and get some good stats. And that's kind of my uh, pseudo explanation for the reason that I'm even playing Lazarus in the first place. It's because he has consistent ways to get stats, AKA straight up dying. And when we die, we will get a major damage up. We won't be able to keep all of it. Oh wait, well, that was interesting. Wait a second. Does the arrow take care of uh, the, the fire? Oh, it does. Did it, did it hit the keeper? Oh my god, this thing's broken. Infinite keeper blowups? That's insane, actually. And yeah, we'll get major stat ups every single time we die, and we'll get a permanent damage up that we can continue on and keep buffing this uh, arrow for us. So let's see how far we can push this thing. Unfortunately, we are lacking a little bit on the pickups. That's okay. I'm sure the second floor is a little bit better for us. Let's go. So I do know that the arrow can inherit some form of tier effects. Just uh, basic ones like, uh, uh, you know, fear shot or something like that. Like genuine tier effects, they can inherit. I also know it works with lump of coal, so the further away you are from the arrow the more damage it does so we're gonna look for these things and uh hopefully get more keys so i can even get item <laughs> Oh my goodness, optimal route as hell. Speedrunner activity currently inbound, that was kind of nasty. That was a little bit more pathetic to be honest with you, but I am seeing that it's doing more damage. It definitely feels like it as well. At that point, you know, I probably just die on purpose since I already lost a deal chance. Uh, and uh, honestly, yeah, just get my stats in for the floor instead. Of course, a bit scary whenever you do this as Lazarus, but that's the reason that he's super duper cool now. And in here, Bob's brain, no, no, no. I cannot accept that offer. Oh, Daddy Longlegs is way better. Give me a secret room though, hold on. I must go searching and blowing up random walls. Guys, that may be one of my saddest attempts at finding any secret room yet. That one was up there. I'm not even gonna lie. That was real rough. Give me the Emperor card. Any reward? Okay, I feel great about it, actually. Can I specifically tell this guy to go and... No, I kind of have to walk him along like a dog. There you go. Kill this keeper. Extra deal chance. It might matter. Give me the PJs. Let's go take care of this boss, then. Call us I'm gonna whistle at him, and immediately we can see the melting damage. I'm just gonna sick my little arrow on them. Whistle, and then just wait. And look at that. I mean... Jesus Christ, that really was absurd, no? There were no ticks there, that was just full-on gas, that was crazy. Uh, I see no reason why not to take this right now. And then... I'm going angel- yeah, I'm going angels. Ooh, false PhD in this curse room. This will be essential to us as well, because this will give us an opportunity- Nice, speed down, I'll take it. To hopefully get more black hearts so that we feel more comfortable about going ahead and just destroying our health bar every single floor, because the black hearts do spawn on the floor, so we can save them for later. Every single pill might now just be an HP up, so that's massive. At a certain point, I kind of want to make it so I just try and not shoot people at all, and just generally aim at the people with my ooh hoo hoo with the arrow and just see what it can do by itself. Of course, Daddy Longlegs will come across and uh, try and help as well, I suppose, but I can't do anything about that guy. He just wants to butt in. Hello, euthanasia, most definitely. Cursed eye, get out of here. You disrespect me with that. I sense a secret room above me. I'm correct, and I am rewarded with some stuff. I love the fact that I can just take care of every single keeper on the floor purely by existing and having this item. That's insanely cool. I love that tech. Damn, you heard him? <laughs> Lazarus said, Ooh. <laughs> Damn, brother, he kind of hit that. No, you guys know how to whistle, dude? I'm gonna be real. I'm a little bit embarrassed about this fact. I never learned how, and I, I feel like I uh, I just can't. Every single time I even try, I just it's impossible for me. Different neurons or something, I just say hey, it won't allow me. I'm hard stuck. I put my skill points in different skills, unfortunately. So I'm gonna lack that ability for a long time. That's okay, though. How about we just get this blown up? Oh my god. I was worried about the... Uh, what did I miss? It looked like I missed something good. Oh, well, there's a reverse card. Was this something good? Reverse justice. Uh, yeah, honestly. 
honestly. But yeah, I was scared about the spider, so I didn't hit the pause trick in time. That sucks. But honestly, I don't even think I should be getting used to using the pause trick anymore. Because we have seen when you play Isaac online, uh, the pause trick doesn't work. And not like because you can't pause and stick it up. I mean, like the restock machines like literally don't double reroll when you blow them up on online beta version of Isaac. So maybe they're trying to fix it. Or maybe that in itself is a bug. Who knows? I accept that maybe that one minute rant was an entire copium. And I'm just going to have to live with it, okay? Yeah, I, we all understand that. So just don't bring it up anymore. Okay, this time I'm going to specifically miss all of my shots. Uh, whoopsies. Starting right now. <laughs> and let's just see how much damage this thing can really do. Go, go get it. Go get it. I I'm trying not to shoot him. That was like 90% daddy long legs. Whatever, hold on. Bad showcase. I'll be back. Hold on. <laughs> Something cool in here? Uh, yeah. Hold on. That one is massive. Dude, look at it. How did they do that? It's so cool. That is so- I love this item so much. It just feels cool to use. An item I do want to keep an eye out for as well as the Parasite, I do know that that works. And for every tick that the arrow hits the enemy, it will split into different tiers. That sounds so good, I really want it. Boom, turlet. <laughs> here we go again, my bad. Now we do uh, take two. There you go. Okay, I can't actually see the damage. It do be popping off. I don't even know if I have to like whistle that many times. I think I just need to whistle once and it's like locked on for a good two seconds. But either way, I did see that damage. That was quite impressive. I didn't really die on this floor, did I? I guess not. It feels like a bit of a waste of a heart considering I even took that matchbook just now. But it will let me get into the boss challenge room and that's just far more fun. So I'm going to lose all this HP. Look at those beautiful stats. And what was in here? HP. Look at that. It fixes itself. It's like I don't even need to do nothing. Oh my god. And so the damage has truly started. There we are. Oh yeah, okay. That's super exciting. Okay, let's go to the next floor. Probably die instantaneously again. And just keep increasing it, man. That's why I did want to play Lazarus. We have guaranteed stats per floor. I was also considering Apollyon, uh, but then I realized, you know, Void is an active item. That wouldn't really work out. Oh, let's go. What was in here, actually? Hold on. A range up. Oh, boy. <laughs> do I want to risk it for the biscuit for a one-up? I'd rather die and do that with the damage up first. There you go. 10 base. We'll take the black lipstick. That's going to be more value for us. And then I'll take the regular lipstick and then realize just how similar those two sprites are. My world is shattered. What? I just got rocked to my core. I just saw those two sprites together. I, 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 this world is not correct. I did not know they looked that similar. <laughs> Mega Man is done for. They'll try to make a pseudo sequel, but it will never work out. Everyone will hate it. Hey, for those of you that have not watched Guardians of the Galaxy, by the way. Ow. There goes deal chance. Gotta say, I highly recommend. I know that it comes across as like maybe like... Uh, Lamau Marvel fanatic moment, but no, no, it's like actually like a really good series of movies. The first one uh, is honestly, in my opinion, the weakest. I used to think that movie was incredible, especially when it first came out. But you know, watching it again, it, uh, it kind of aged. <laughs> I'm gonna be real; it's not exactly that incredible anymore. But the second one is way better, and the third one is the biggest trip you'll ever have while watching a movie. And uh, for that reason, that is undeniably on top. And the characters from that movie, especially Yondu, Blue Man, guy we're kind of playing as right now. Now. Incredible story. Very, very fun movie. Magician Mushroom. Oh, okay. Anything there? You think that one mushroom is the ultimate gamble? I kind of doubt it. Go get him, Arrow. Oh, God, that feels good. Anything from here? No, man. That's okay. A little terrifying, don't you think? Seeing it 1 HP like this. Low deal chance as well, because we have no soul hearts. But that was the gamble I wanted to make for myself, so... Got no one else to blame. I'm just looking for keys at this point. Gotta access that treasure room. Or at least a shop, or at least a something. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Relax there, buddy. I was checking the map. Don't do that to me. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, hello, my saving grace. Check this out. Kobe! <laughs> Judgment as well. That's kind of useless, but I'll take it for maybe HP up. And the HP up will probably be useless because I'm going to give it away immediately. But it's better than, you know, what I'm dealing with. Or you can make the argument I could blow him up. Actually, yeah, goodbye. Boom, look at that. That could be the major difference maker, actually. I don't even regret the money that I did get to him because I got a lot of value out of it. Got an arcade here uh, ooh, with a bit more stuff to work with, which is now unfortunate because now I don't know how I feel about spending my money. That monster of pills is sitting there and it, it's just too much of a gamble, you know? What the hell? Hello? Hi, I'm here. 
I doubt uh, Book of Virtues works. <laughs> like, most definitely. I think the best item here is Circle of Protection, but I'm gonna take Blow the Martyr because I want my uh, headpiece to just keep scaling. It's gonna be way more fun that way. So give me that, give me the Soul Heart, why not? I'm very happy that I got the deal at this point, but now I really wish I didn't just blow up that guy. <laughs> I'm getting unironically mixed. I, I can't decide where to go. Candy Heart's interesting with Lazarus, but we also got Tiny Planet. Do I really care about Tiny Planet? It's not gonna work with the arrow the arrow like follows me all the time i'm gonna take the candy heart tiny planet wouldn't even be funny i don't think you know it'll just be kind of throw at that point probably a, an obvious secret room that is correct oh <laughs> that is correct use the arrow to take care of this guy no nickel that's okay uh i gotta guess this thing it's probably gonna be wrong but i might as well try pokemon i choose you oh the most educated guess wins what is my reward oh baby i take you you're my og favorite oh, hold on guys ready for the most satisfying thing ever i never get to do this. Check this out. Boom. Oh, wow. That was incredible. I've never done that. Actually, ever, ever. It was actually worth it, too, because you can get money. All right. Now that we finished that arc, give me the headpiece back, and let's go uh, kill the boss with 12 base damage. I have a feeling we're really going to start scaling that crazy here. As well as, uh, if I'm lucky, I know I did all the things necessary to get a deal, but hopefully, you know, I don't get a deal. And there you go. We can already see the chunking damage is here. Everything is perfect. We did not, so, uh, you know, everything's working out for me. Good stats today. Very good stats. I'll take the soul heart because might as well. Let's go. What a good floor. What a beautiful, beautiful floor. 100% angel chance. Don't even need to do anything for it. They just give it to me for free. This is probably going to give me a bunch of hearts. The belly is fat, so uh, I will die as soon as I can and then take the hearts that it gives me. Honestly, something about this item that I didn't really mention, but uh, I felt like I should say at this point because I still feel this way. This feels like a really natural item, and I don't know how to describe that, but I really feel like in another timeline, in another dimension, this was like a real Isaac item that like existed. It just feels like it exists. It flows very naturally. I love it. Was there anything cool in here? Broken glasses are honestly a better trinket uh, if I were to go alternate floor is not the case, so let's just die real quick, get our stats in. I could just stick my arrow on that guy and just leave. I'll be okay. Lacrophagy. Ooh. Now, that wouldn't work, I don't think. But Lacrophagy is just more fun than a conjoined, so let's just do it. You guys think I can make this in two? You guys believe in the dream? This is so sad. <laughs> Guys, I've never taken a fatter L in my life. Just give it to me. I don't even have a key. Wow. Oh my god. I will never actually financially recover from this one. That one was actually bad. <laughs> Considering scrapping the last 22 minutes of my life and restarting, not even gonna lie. <laughs> I'd say the power of this item is honestly in its range. You can just stick something on it and then leave. It's as if I have like a little Pikmin. I'm just telling them to do stuff while I go do something else. It's actually really sick. Sorry for the random comparison. I've been playing Pikmin recently. Very, very, very good game. Hello, is the blow. This should be easy enough. There you go. So yeah, I do think the arrow lasts for maybe about three seconds or so. And you can see once it's done, it'll come back to me. So once I get good at counting that interval, that uh, arrow will be on top of the enemy at 100% rate. I promise you. Old bandage is great. And salvation is wonderful because I keep taking damage per floor. Which also makes sense because it is a Lazarus unlock, I believe. I got no pickups for uh, reasons that should never be named ever again. But we got the treasure room, so who cares? I'm happy. Let's go. So we back in the mines, back at depth two. El Clasico for real, for real. Should be smooth sailing. I don't see a reason why not. I'm vibing with my whistle arrow headpiece thingy-majiggy. Things are looking up. We are even just getting a bunch of soul hearts. I have to chalk that up to mom's pearl trinket for me to die every single floor because I kind of have like a fail safe. What about in here? Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. you are the way that I am going to spend my health healthily. You know, like gamble your life away, but like properly. Smart. If it's smart gambling, is it even really gambling? Yeah. You know, growing up, I didn't even really understand what that meant. But when we went to Vegas for TwitchCon, which I'm super excited to go to Vegas again this year. This time, I don't think I'll be going to TwitchCon, but I really want to go to Evo, dude. That's going to be sick. But last time that we went to Vegas and we went for TwitchCon, we did a bit of gambling. I said this story a bit ago. We won 100 bucks. But something I didn't mention is that we both found out that there really is a way to smart gamble. And we we're playing that roulette game. I've never seen anything more beautiful in my life. God, I just saw heaven. Uh, the one where you're like, you put chips on like the color and you're like, of 34 black or something, you know, and the ball goes around. 
Anyway, we figured out that mathematically, if you were gonna bet on all black, you should just put the chips on all the black ones, not the one that says black. Basically, if you guess the number specifically, then you get a bigger payout, but there's also a button. Not a button, this isn't a video game. I'm out of my element, I'm sorry. I'm also doing this while in an arcade, so I'm like on a seventh layer right now. I don't even know where I am, I feel like I'm in Vegas. <laughs> Basically, if you guess the specific color and number, you get a massive payout. But there is like a place where you can just bet the specific color, but you might as well just put, you know, one chip on every single number so you get the bigger pay you know what i'm saying like there's a smart way to gamble that being said it's still gambling but that being said it's gambling let's go <laughs> okay seriously though dogathan jonathan i need keys thank you the game's name is secretly jonathan we've gone and learned this so that's really good info oh my god did you see that <laughs> that was brutal oh my god wait this arrow is going nasty for real for real now it's actually demolishing everything anything cool in here humble bumble very nice plus some more money yeah i'll take the humble i'll take the keys very very good stuff anything else roll racer no thank you one more buddy i'll take a buddy yeah let's get a buddy the buddy is huge this is a tears down damage up i know the tears still affect the arrow it's the tick rate so there's actually no point in me doing that unless i don't know it's more dps but i don't know i'm not that much of a calculon wizard so i'll just leave that be honestly and get the treasure real quick final final oh wow yikes i got no wit equipped for this one this is just terrible bad vibes all around i'll take this and then destroy some rocks with it did you know you can destroy rocks with it that's the only fun fact i have about that one makes sense i feel like that would happen as well in real life if there was a black hole in a room all right let's go whistle at mom real quick and just destroy her no doubt about that i'd like to go up today despite my lack of keys i'm still feeling faithful i feel like this might just be the play that we need Go get him, boy. Nice, dude. I love this arrow, man. It feels so natural to play with. Almost Guppy from Red Chest alone? Very big. I mean, I took all those luck down, so kind of like really bad. But hey, Guppy's tail over no Guppy's tail. You know, I'd rather have the Guppy's tail, so thank you. Now, at this point, I'm probably going to use my lives defensively, you know? Not saying I'm scared or anything, but I'm a little bit terrified. I could explode at any moment, and I'd rather that not happen. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but this is such a Lazarus run. I mean, even the fact that i got salvation when do i ever naturally find and also take salvation what honestly happy to have the guy here i know some people aren't exactly the biggest fan of this dude and i can understand why but i'm just saying after the rework i think this guy's pretty cool small but significant tears up from that candy heart as well putting in work once every three floors let's go <laughs> super cool stuff hang man here i go woohoo i'm mary poppins y'all that was a murder of utmost proportions by Yandu's headpiece. That was incredible. An entire frag fest, honestly. That was a little bit brutal, if anything. But that's what you want. Womb, one hello, Mama Gertie. We can take care of you very quickly. Oh, whoopsies. Okay, that's all right. My speed is just kind of low. How did I not get a deal? <laughs> uh, well, whatever. Honestly, there's no reason not to die here. Sure. I, did I just blast something away? Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Buddy in a Box. That was rude of me. We'll take this, and I'm a bit nervous, actually. The spun is great. The speed is the most appreciated thing. But, like, how do I live this situation? I need to find a secret room or something. Maybe a super secret up there. Nice. Some coins. A beggar? Okay, okay, there you go. And the beggar gives me HP, and we're fine. Please don't do this. Oh my god! These beggars, man, every single day, more and more, they just want to die. Come on, three cents. I gotta be safe when I go to the next floor. Oh, it's not gonna happen. What? I'm a bit nervous honestly i'm gonna do this nice this whole heart i i really do not regret that whatsoever 100 percent, i do not in fact i i got even more money to pay this guy lands me a range up oh yeah that's the big stuff <laughs> okay but the soul heart was actually essential i feel great about that let's go okay here's an incredible one tell me if you relate okay growth hormones and guppy's tail specifically there on the inventory screen next to each other do you not always see these two specific items always together like they are associated together weirdly but i don't know why but they just are in my mind yes or no true false do you agree i'm just saying it's a small buff but i swear to god every single time you find either growth hormones or guppy tail there's maybe like an extra two percent chance that you'll probably find uh, the other item as the next one it could be true it could not i don't know this feels that way to me still whistling away i'm just kind of drive by passing everyone with my arrow feeling like a badass i just kind of whistle in the direction they uh kind of get shredded to bits and die crystal key 
Oh, this sucks because, oh man, Mom's Pros is clutching it for me. But Crystal Key is just way more fun. I gotta take this. Got a Crystal Key over here. Imagine the Ultra Secret immediately. What a nasty play that would have been. That's all right, though. We do get to skip some rooms. Hey, this is probably the boss then, no? Hey, look, here we go. Look at that mega Crystal Key Valley we skipped out on the long room. That's always really nice. Okay, let's take care of this. This should be easy enough. Both eyes just right away. Boom. Headpiece just pulverizing these enemies. Never mind, I'm done for. I actually got cooked hella hard. Oh, wow. Okay, whatever. We can do it. We get an extra life here. I'm not gonna burn my lives for specifically any kind of damage unless I specifically, you know, get to the very end of the floor with low HP. And I can just burn it just to burn it. And this is the most fun way to play Lazarus anyway, in my opinion. Just try and play low HP. Play around your extra life. You get extra damage if you get hit. And try and take it to the very end. But basically, for me, Lazarus these days is just always a low HP character. That's the most fun and optimal way to play them. At least in my opinion, you know, you can play them however you want. All right, a little scared now, <laughs> just a tiny bit. I just realized that grimaces exist and it was far too late for me at that point. Uh, if I'm lucky with room layouts and enemy layouts, I can definitely make it to Isaac. I can pop Algis and just win. Then we'll have an extra life for the next, next floor. But I might have to use it right here. Oh my God. These angels are bad, dude. I'm sending my, my arrow on a mission to kill all these guys that I can't hit when they range. Nice. Do I risk the crystal key play? I have to. Such a bad decision. <laughs> okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Okay. Wow, that was a terrifying cathedral. Let's just get in here. Use this right away and boom. And then Alges. And I think we just deal enough damage. I mean, 20 seconds should be enough. I gotta, I, you gotta come back, Isaac, really quickly. I don't got time for this. Use Salvation as well, might as well. Keep whistling in front of their face. It's a scare tactic. Nice. Okay, this has got to be a huge chest. A big one. Hey, all right. It's massive. We're good. Never mind. <laughs> I, uh, I can't even make things suspenseful. Jesus. Okay, well, there go my stats. We're gonna have to, uh, get that back, I think. I'm gonna do, like, a couple rooms with this thing so I could get the D8 back and maybe try again, my bad. I didn't think it would be that devastating. Catastrophic news honestly but yeah we'll bounce back hold on uh bbf a little bit of a detrimental pick as we can clearly see but it's the fun one so whatever there's the plus 14 goddamn damage up we were waiting for the entire run so everything's working out perfectly let's go get our yandu headpiece again and just uh have fun with the arrow bada bing bada boom thank you sick him on the sister viz and now we are just doing way too much damage i do not see a situation where we just cannot win this is it not going anymore oh chili nice okay i'll take this but what's going on with my uh, my thing? It's not going anymore. Hold on. I, I think I need to put it back down. I'll try this again, maybe. I don't know. Is it, is it going? No, it's just on a lazy day. It doesn't want to anymore. Are you too good for me now? Oh, now that I'm all Hollywood and I got bird's eye and miter and super bandage. Now that we're not struggling, you're nothing to me. The betrayal on this arrow is crazy. I can't believe it. Okay, let me try one thing. Let me try, like, formally removing it from my inventory. And then, like, picking it up manually again. Like, this is a fresh one. I'll also take the uh, spider bite. Are you gonna work now? Nope. You're just, you're, you're edgy, I guess. You're edgy now. You wanted to be quirky, you wanted to be different. I put you down for one second. Actually, that is fair. I did kind of betray it. Never mind. It's got a reason to be mad, I suppose. <laughs> well, guess what? That's too damn bad. Ooh, tough love. I'll take that. Anything up here? No, we got these dudes, though. These dudes are always nice to find. Super secret magic skin. Give away my entire life for rock bottom. Check it. Okay, that's not it. I'm now one hit, but you know what? I'm gonna turn this into a chest now. Okay. Wow, that was actually so clutch. I can't believe it. I did effectively nothing. <laughs> But it was really clutch, dude. Like, that was really, really sick. Okay, Miter. Way to take away the suspense from the blue baby fight. <laughs> I, wow, I don't even know what happened, dude. I just think it was so cool and honorable that someone just heard something I said. And it turned into an actual item that was really cool to play with. I had so much fun, dude. All right, that was awesome. I hope you guys have a great one. Just like Tony the Tiger and uh, GG's.